Hey guys, Chickaboo Bob here. Welcome back to another installment of Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time, we explored the Seville Islands and a little bit of side quest stuff. Today, we're going to be tackling the eighth Pokemon Gym, which is right here in Viridian City. Where? You had to go through here earlier in the game, but the gym was not actually open. And uh, we'll talk to the Champ of the Making guy. Yo, Champ of the Making. Even I don't know the Viridian leader's identity. But one thing's certain. This will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. Also, I heard that the trainers here like ground-type Pokemon. And that's a good thing because we have some great water types on our team. I uh, guess we gotta go this way. He's pretty difficult to get to. She gotta go around this maze. But the gym leader here, you all know him as Giovanni. For ha ha ha, welcome to my hideout. It sh shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest traitor. And now it's time for our eighth and final gem against Giovanni. He will start with his level 45 Rhyhorn. I'm going to start with Montana because Surf will knock out Rhyhorn like nothing. His highest level Pokemon is at level 50. So just keep that in mind. My Pokemon are around that level. Not exactly, but pretty close too. I just want to use Doug Trio. Doug Trio being a ground type, I'm going to toss out Seymour. Have my grass type take him on. Just use Race Relief on it. Earthquake, uh oh. Huh? Would it completely hurt me? Oh, miss Race Relief. Try again. Yeah, his Doug Tree is not strong enough to really hurt Seymour, so. And he's completely weak against grass, so he should be knocked out in no time. Alright, good experience points. Now he's going to use his Nido Queen. With Nido Queen, Nido Queen is weak against Psychic, so we're going to switch over to Zinx. Because Nido Queen being part poison type, Nido Queen has a weakness to Psychic. He hasn't brought out the strongest Pokemon yet, which I'm surprised. Good night, Nita Queen. I'm really blowing through his team. Now he's going to use Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn also has that weakness to water. As I said before, because this is his second Rhyhorn. This one, though, is his strongest at level 50. But still should be able to take it out pretty easily because it's quad resistant, or it's quad weak to water. Alright, now he's going to use his Nido King. Swap back over to Zinx. Because Nido King also has that weakness to Psychic. Nido King shouldn't be too hard. Oh, 45 has a pretty bad weakness to Psychic. So should be able to knock him out in one hit. Done. Eighth gem badge in the bag. Good night. Ha. That was truly an intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the earth badge. And our final badge. Very good. The earth badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. And we get TM26. TM26 contains Earthquake. It is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here. For too long. 
Well, guys, I'm going to heal up real fast, and then I'll meet you right outside the Pokemon Center. And we will continue our journey just a little bit further. Because, uh, I don't want to cut the episode here, because this, this, this episode will be extremely too short. So, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, guys, and we're back. And our next stop on our journey is going to take us this way. We went this way earlier to actually battle against our rival. Oh. Yeah, earlier in the game. And guess who's here again? What? Bob, what a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges, too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Bob, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on. Alright, and it's time for another battle against our rival. He's going to start with his Pidgeot, as usual. Level 47. Um, and I'm going to try Hydro Pump. Oh, it missed. Alright, he shouldn't be able to hurt Montana too much. You surf on him. Gonna use wing attack. I use surf again. Should be able to knock out his Pidgeot. He always starts with Pidgeot. Pidgeot's not extremely strong. All right. Now he's gonna use his Blastoise. Bring his Blastoise out. I'm gonna bring out Bolt. I'm gonna shock him. He's bring out his strongest right now, which. Is pretty shocking. Oh, done. Critical hit. Knocked you out in one hit. That's a good thing. And a level up. Both as strong as everybody else now. Now he's going to use his Rhyhorn. With Rhyhorn, I'm going to bring out Montana for this. Because just like Giovanni's, his Rhyhorn's not very strong either. And being extremely weak to water, one hit, done. I think we are ready for the Pokemon League, the way we're going through this guy's Pokemon. Now it's ex Execute, so that I'm going to bring in my Fire-type for this one. Spalding hasn't seen a lot of action recently. But, take him out. Basic flamethrower, done. That was pretty easy. Now he's going to use his Growlithe. With Growlithe. Oh, guess we're calling on Montana again. Because he has a lot of... A lot of his Pokemon are weak against water, oddly enough. Ah, you surf on ya. Good night. Grella fully evolved would be pretty good. But at his current stage, he's not very strong. Now he's going to use Alakazam. I'm going to bring in Frenchie, because Frenchie hasn't been able to see any action. Let her take on Alakazam here. Um, use your body slam. Because Alakazam has pretty weak physical defense. Oh, that was weird. We paralyzed each other. Oh, this is convenient. You can't move. Yeah, but we can. Good night, Alakazam. Good job, Frenchie. Alright. What? I was just careless, you. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Bob, you need more practice. But hey, you know that. I'm out here. Smell ya. Alright guys, well I'm going to go heal up real fast, and I'll meet you guys right back here so we can continue on our way to the Pokemon League. See you guys in a minute. Alright guys, and we're back. 
So let's just continue on our way to Pokemon League here. Alright, jump this fence, and then walk this way, and into this building. Pretty much all this is, is that you're showing your badges to these guys. You're going to be stopped eight times on your way through here. This guy will tell you Cascade Badge. Yes, I do. Alright, keep going. This guy will stop you asking if you have the Thunder Badge. Yes, I do. This guy will ask you if you have the Rainbow Badge. Yes, I do. And then we got to surf across this. And this guy. Ask if he has a soul badge. Which I do. Alright, then surf across more water. Pretty nice little area. This guy will ask if you have the marsh badge, which I do. Keep on going. This way. This guy will ask if I have the volcano badge. Alright, just one more guy. Which is over this way. Up this way. This guy. And we officially got through all the guys. And well guys, next time we'll be tackling this place, Victory Road, on our way to the Pokemon League. So, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. This has been this, this has been Chocobo Bob's signing off.